Um, I have um, printed with Julia DiMario three times. And I think that one of the things that I enjoy so much about coming here is just um, picking up on this uh, thread that is our collaboration together, but also that's been our, become our friendship. And um, it, I feel like we've seen each other's lives and um, careers develop and our families have become intertwined. Um, and so uh, not, I think the thing that's special about coming to Sitka for me is that uh, this is a place that I like to return to. And it's um, a relationship I like to return to. And my work is made um, richer for having a deep connection and a relationship with Julia and this place that is Sitka and it's the trees and the water and the estuary and the people here. And so um, that is one of um, the lasting and ongoing um, impressions that I have of this, this place. I come here, even when I come, I now come to the Cascade Head with my family and um, we come here because of what Sika Center for Art and Ecology represents to my family um, and the people and the, the land. In a way I could have never anticipated um, almost 20 years ago, uh, my work in prints often informs the work that's happening in my studio and vice versa, so they're almost both imprinting on each other simultaneously and there's things that I've gone on to realize in my studio that have that have grown out of the process of making prints and collaboration with Julia and then there's also um, times where the printmaking is just kind of a jumping off point for for other ideas but um, I see it intimately tied to my practice in a way that um, I'm just starting to realize and embrace, like I don't think I ever realized how significant printmaking was to my practice. Um, but it, it is um, something that I'm looking, uh, I'm looking back in my history of prints with Julia and collaborating with a few other people. And uh, it's interesting how prints for me um, not only do they record like uh, series of ideas that embody the work that I'm making at that time, but they also become kind of touchstones for other things that are happening in my life. And I think that's kind of interesting. I have been thinking a lot about um, companion species and companion relationships. And uh, for me, that grows out of um, being a citizen of the Seneca Nation, and it has a lot to do with Seneca and Iroquois teachings, but uh, it also has to do on reflecting what it means to be related to one another, uh, related to animals. I'm from the Turtle Clan, and then also thinking a lot about the natural environment. And I, for this print, have been looking at the poetry of Emily Dickinson, and um, in a poem about mountains, she reflects on how um, mountains are uh, ancestors and chairs and observers. And so that has been kind of the um, jumping off point for the print I'm, I'm making. And in my studio, I'm working with a lot of text right now. And so in this print, um, I am also engaging with text. I think that Thing that's special about this program that I'd want Jordan to know or any funder to know is that um, it's more than the residency. It's more than, you know, a finite period of time making prints with Julia. It is about um, so many things. Um, but it's a relationship that I keep coming back to. And it's a relationship that has informed my work over the arc of my career to date. 
it's a relationship that I consider to be part of my family. It's something that's kind of hard to put words to because I think that when you think of funding something like this, like the outcome is a print, but it, it's not just a print. It's, it's all the other things that that print is a marker for, of memory for. And, um, and for that, I'm super grateful that um, he sees value in, in this and that the relationships that it's building that include relationships with nature and relationships with the, the animals that are here, you know, like the frogs and the crickets and the <laughs> birds and, you know, like listening to the waves last night, like all the things that you see and don't see, like become a part of that, become part of that fold. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's just a special place.